there will be a second coming, many believe in it. The very fact of the existence of this common belief in the descent of the higher mind on our human level is a catalyst. There is a concept of self-fulfilling prophecy. In this case, billions and billions of people, for thousands of years, believe in the same thing, and expect it, around our time. According to legends, Zoroaster said that he would come a second time, and with his coming the age of evil would end and the century of knowledge and understanding would come. Christ spoke of the second coming. Buddhists are waiting for Buddha with the advent of which the golden age will begin. The Jains are waiting for the new Jina. Hindu movements believe in the avatar and wait, each his own. The list can be continued. This faith is able to unite all the people of this planet, and the mass unconscious will give rise to enlightened individuals. A lot of. For one wise man cannot be recognized by all. It will happen differently, evolution will make another round. Freedom of information will bear fruit. Many sages will appear. Hopefully. At this very second, considering the proposals, I understand that there is hope. I have found many parallels in the mythology of different peoples. Like a mass unconscious. A certain common mind speaks to each people, in a certain language of theirs, but using common images. In Georgia, there is faith absorbed by each of us. From the poems of our adored poets, from the myths told in childhood, from exchanging information with friends, nights spent blessed waiting with a toast or prayer. We believe that the Mother Goddess chose Georgia. If you think that I am going too far, I will clarify this belief has taken certain legal forms, the Parliament has announced something to the world. According to Christianity, the world was divided for preaching by the disciples of Jesus Christ, and Georgia went to his mother, Mary. In mythological language the Mother Goddess. In addition, there is a large layer of myths where the Mother Goddess rules Georgia, having taken the incarnation of Queen Tamara. Myths elevate her to an apotheosis, deify her. And she, the embodiment of the Goddess, places a certain spiritual embryo in a secret, unearthly place. Sometimes in myths it is the Caucasus, sometimes a lake, in some myths, the sea. In the myth about Amarin the same images, only the names change. The goddess gives birth to an boy, calling him the ruler of all manifest. The boy is placed in a golden cradle and left at the Yaman spring, a name parallel in the cultures of ancient Iran and India, the first man, a god capable of staying in this and the other world. In Georgian mythology, Yaman has two sons, and finding on his land a golden cradle with golden-haired Amarin, he adopts him as the third. He has no eye, the evil force distorted his vision. And the first feat of the three brothers is the victory over the evil force, and the return to the father of full vision. I think that if nations are waiting for the second coming, first of all it is the expectation of wisdom, spiritual knowledge. Answers so that humanity gets rid of blood once and for all, in the name of faith, an incredible distortion of any religious foundations. Just as three young men correct the vision of Yaman, so several enlightened ones from different religions, authoritative among their peoples, agreeing among themselves, building bridges, describing the truth with the same images, will be able to change the world outlook of the entire planet. We, Georgians, have believed in this for a long time, since the times before our era. The goddess chose our country, and a dragon fighter will be born in it. He will come again, for mythology is timeless. He came, he will come. It's the same thing when it comes to something timeless. For now, he is at the bottom of a lake, or in a cave, in the Caucasus Mountains. Around me is another reality that is not subject to time. There are gardens of plants that look like biblical trees. This world is free from a pair of opposites, heat and cold. This is a description of the higher being in which God dwells, before the next incarnation in the world of heat and cold, old age and death. In that highest state, God dwells in the image of a playing pure essence, which is why the word child is so suitable. The image of the playing God is very common. 
Sirenoses, or supernatural beings, angels or in other Georgian versions of the myth doves surround the higher mind, fulfilling its childish desires, with their magical abilities. They love this supreme being, serve him, cherish him. Here is an image of a golden cradle. No man can get there. Angels and God the child. We cannot comprehend the mechanisms and reasons, why the mother goddess puts him there so that he comes into the world. But we Georgians expect it, believe and hope. I will add that the myth of Zeus has a lot of parallels with everything that has been said. I retell the general from different myths, but the main part that which is imprinted in the subconscious of every Georgian is a retelling of the verse of the great ally the most progressive of those who lived in his time. I will add that the biblical Moses, Moshiach from the Torah, Musa from the Koran was found in the water. The name Moses means out of the water. I hope that the common belief of billions of people throw up over vectors of disunity and hostility. That the blood shed for the faith will remain only in the historical annals. And I understand that each of us is responsible. And only together we can realize the common dream of all mankind.